Okay, so first section, three classifications of items. Points, lines, and planes. Okay? Points, lines, and planes. Examples of points. Pencil. pencil. Tip. Tip of a pencil. Other examples of points. Um, the tip. Okay, let's get past the tip. We got tip, so let's get something else. Laser. Huh? Laser pointer. Mmm, that's good. Okay, the end part of it's going to be a point, but the actual laser part of it's going to be a what? So it could actually be both, depending on which part you're looking at. Okay? So I'm going to call the laser tip here, and we're going to stay away from tip because we don't want to use that word. Attack. Huh? Thumbtack. Attack. Okay, thumbtack. You know, a basketball, a soccer ball, a volleyball. Okay, that's a point. Anything that, you know, it's bigger than the tip of a pencil, but still by definition it's going to be a point. A softball. Okay? What else? The, what, the earth. Yeah. The world wouldn't be because we don't exactly know. The world would be more of a plane, but the earth would be a point. Okay. Got it. Okay. How about lines or line segments as we, we, you know, really we don't know. Yeah. The beam of a laser. Okay. Laser beam. Okay. Other lines, Josh? Uh, flagpole. Flagpole. Okay. Okay, one more. Isabella. Ruler. Ruler. Perfect. Okay, planes. Yep. Desk. Desk. Perfect one right there. Desk. What else? Yes, sir. A, book. A what? A book. A book. Okay, how about one more? Max. Uh, a rug. A rug. Okay, a surface rug or an area rug. Okay, points, lines, and planes. On the test, you might see something just like you saw in the review yesterday. They're going to draw a picture. They're going to point to something. What is it? Point, line, or plane? That was. It was okay, well, look at a hinge. It's a what? Line. You don't think of it. It's a hinge. Okay? It's a hinge. It looks just like this. Is it a point? Is it a line? Is it a plane? It's a line. So that was the question. Somebody else said, well, what's it pointing at? Well, think about it. Even if it's put, they weren't sure if it was pointing at the side of the fence or the hinge. Either way, they're both lines. I thought it meant like the gate. But it wasn't open. See, don't think. Don't overthink it. What's it actually pointing at? All right? Piece of cake. Points, lines, planes. No big deal. Um, what does collinear mean? Okay, two points on the same line or collinear. How about coplanar? Okay, two points that are on the same plane. Does it just have to be points? No, no, could, be could be lines. Could be two lines on the same plane. Okay, perfect. Let's go with uh, distance. Okay, Evan, what's the equation? Okay, start, go even base, more basic than that. 2x plus 7x. Okay, we add the pieces together. Set it equal to the total. For those of you who tend to, to tend to forget to write feet, inches, centimeters, whatever it is, when you write your equation, put it in your equation. Don't just write 150. Write 150 feet. Okay, 2x and 7x is how much? Everybody? 9x equals 150 feet. And then when I divide it out, what is my initial decimal, somebody? 16.6 repeating. Okay, so I keep getting the nice, awesome six number. And so to the whole feet, it's going to be what? 17 feet. 17 feet. Even if we're just solving for X, we're still going to label it with feet. Right, Margo? All right. Okay. Questions on, on measuring. Not a big deal. Now let's go to the big one. 
let's say I have two coordinates of 4, negative 2, and 3, 8. Find the distance between those two. Okay, Isabella, what do you have to start out with? Okay, she went ahead and simplified her minus the negative 2. I'm good with that. No, that's fine. I'm perfectly okay with that as long as you see that. If you had the minus the minus, then you need to change it to plus 2 in the next step. Either way is fine with me. So that's going to be square root of negative 1 squared plus uh, 10 squared. Okay, this is one of those where it's very important that it's squared on the underside because negative 1 squared is going to give me what? 1. So this is square root of 1 plus 100 being a total of 101. Now, be careful on the test tomorrow. If they ask you to round it to the nearest tenth, that means they want the, you to find this actual value. If they just say find the distance and it doesn't say round to the nearest tenth, then you leave it just like that. Does that make sense? If it says nearest tenth, take it out. Now, I asked you to put this one in nearest tenth, so I want it taken out. John, what would you come up with? John didn't go to the nearest tenth. Carly. Keep going. 10.04. And so when you actually round that, that's going to be approximately 10. Okay, to the nearest tenth, that will be approximately 10. Okay. If it asks, if it asks to round the nearest tenth, change it to a decimal and round it. If it doesn't say nearest tenth, leave it just like that. Okay. All right, let's look at midpoints. Midpoint formula. Um, Brock. Midpoint formula. Okay, midpoint formula. Add the x's together, divide by 2. Add the y's together, divide by 2. Okay, 4 plus 12 divided by 2 comes out to be what? 16 divided by 2, which is? 8. That's the first one. Negative 6 plus a negative 2 just means negative 6 minus 2, which is how much? Negative, negative 8 divided by 2? Negative 4. Okay, I don't think that we struggle with the midpoint very much. I do get a lot of questions on, they give us one point, they give us the midpoint, how do I find the other point? So I'm going to do one of those as well. So let's say they give us the midpoint is 2, negative 6, and then they give us the other point is, um, oh, let's go, I don't want it to be too crazy, let's go with even numbers. Okay, so M being the midpoint, X being one of the endpoints, let's find the other endpoint. Which formula do we need to use? The midpoint formula. Okay, again, midpoint is X1 plus X2 over 2, and Y1 plus Y2 over 2. Oh, that should be, I don't like the way that looks. Okay, so let's just look at the x's. This is case number one. x1 plus x2 divided by 2. What do we know 
in that formula? We know one of the x1s, and we know the, the midpoint. Okay, we know the midpoint is 2. We know, let's call it x1. Do we know what x2 is? Do we know what x2 is, the second point? No. I'm just going to call it x and then divide by 2. Okay, midpoint equals what we know plus what we don't know divided by 2. How do I solve this equation? Okay, multiply both sides by 2. So that's going to give us 4 equals negative 14 plus x. And one more step. Anybody? Add 14 to both sides. What have we just found? The x value of the other endpoint. Okay, so I'm going to call it, I don't want to use, I'm going to call it A. Okay, so the x value of A is 18. Now we need to find the y value of a. Margo, what would that equation be? Negative 6 equals a plus x plus y over 2. OK, negative 6, because we actually know the midpoint value, equals the y value that we know, which is 8. The y value that we don't know, which we're just going to let be y and divide by 2. Again, multiply both sides by 2. And final step, subtract 8 from both sides. So that's going to be negative 20. Okay. If you are very particular and you like to check your work, all right, take those values, these two points right here, use the midpoint formula, see if that's what you come out with. Okay, some of you are very particular and you like to do that. All right, if you've got time, do that if you need. Questions on finding the other point if we know the midpoint? Have to use the midpoint formula. Isn't this fun stuff? Gosh, it's going to be a party tomorrow. Yes. Make sure you bring me some Dr. Pepper. There you go, congruent angles. Good luck. I want you to find two things using your formula card. I want you to find the volume and then surface area. Now the book lists surface area as T, like total surface area. So if that's what you have on your card, that's the same thing. I just abbreviated it a little bit differently. Okay, you've been given two things. What have you been given? The height and the radius okay you've got the height of the cylinder which is 14 yards and the radius of the cylinder which is eight yards all right let's start with volume okay who's got the first what's the first step in volume or the first equation all the way across Zachary what do you have or, are we doing volume or surface area because T in the book is total surface area but are you doing volume I want to do volume tell me volume Okay, so let's sub in the numbers. What do you got? Um, I have V equals pi 8 squared times 14. Okay, so we know we're going to do nearest tenth, so we're going to go ahead and take pi as 3.14 approximately. Do not hit the pi button on your calculator. Okay, on your test it will say use 3.14 as pi. Okay, because if you hit the pi button, it will not round correctly. So 3.14 times 64 times 14 comes out to be what? Yes, sir. Oh, never mind. Okay. Anybody? 3.14 times 64 times 14. Margo. 
2,813.4 what? 0.44. Is that what you said? Okay. How many of you agree? Raise your hand if you agree with that one. Okay, good. So rounded to the nearest tenth, this is going to be volume is approximately 2,813.4 feet. Is it feet? No, it's yards. Duh. I made the problem. Yards squared. No. It's volume. You're right. It's cubed. Cubed. Yeah. Cubed. Yeah. Free pass. It, free pass. It's your birthday. Yeah, free pass. But tomorrow, test day, not your birthday. No free passes. Okay. Approximately 2,813.4 cubic yards. All right. Volume. Or surface area. Excuse me. I'm all confused. Okay, initial setup. Uh, Zach Thomas, initial setup. Here we go. Um, two by eight. I'm going to go ahead and substitute 3.14. Okay, times 8, 14. times 14. And I'm going to go ahead and square the 8 to get the 64. Again, just kind of combining steps a little bit. You guys can combine those. It won't be a big deal. Okay, 2 times 3.14 times 8 times 14. Who's got it? Yes, sir. Did it come out to be 0.36 exactly? Um, Nothing. Yeah. Yes? yes? I need confirmation. Yes? yes. Yeah. Who said no? What would you come up with? Right, that's just the first part. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, just the first part. Okay, now second part. Uh, 2 times 3.14 times 64. Someone else? Quinn, what did you get for the second part? Oh, I didn't, I just added it all together. Oh, make sure you go part, piece by piece by piece by piece. Tell me what it is. Who's got this other part? Yes, sir. 400 what? 401. Point one two is that correct? Nine, nine two. Sorry, I got these things on my ears. I can't hear very well, and I'm old, so it's two strikes against me. Okay, added together, what do we come up with? Say, say, say the number. Read the number to me. One thousand one hundred five. And 28 hundredths, 0.28, so that's rounded to be 1,105 and 3 tenths what? Yards squared. You should still come up with the same number as long as you enter it in your calculator correctly because sometimes depending on what you enter, your calculator may not do PEMDAS. So just make sure you get that. Okay?